Call of Duty Vanguard. The alpha just released a couple hours ago. Well, actually more than a couple hours ago. Because I took a nap. It's 3 p.m. Um, and it started at 11. So, so I would say a couple hours as of this recording. And I played it for about an hour. And I'll get to the reason why I played for an hour instead of a couple hours. I just want to give my opinions about it. Um, also, by the way, do not say this as factual. If you get pissed off about my opinion, that's fine. Perfectly fine. It's my opinion. If you think it's good, then you think it's good. If you think it's bad, then you think about it's bad. But in summary of my first impressions of the alpha, Battlefield, please release your beta. I, I'm so desperate right now to see if your game is good and if I need, if I want to order or, or, or buy your game. Because this one, Call of Duty Vanguard, I am not excited. One bit, I thought the alpha was going to change my mind a little bit, but it didn't. It actually made it worse and i'll get to the reasons why now a lot of people saying are right, it's modern warfare basically it's basically modern warfare but with a world war ii setting i would say i had to agree but also disagree with you yeah it kind of feels like modern warfare but with the mechanics and all that it kind of feels it, it has that little touch of world war ii in there but in my honest opinion it feels like cold war like for me it does feel like cold war a bit especially with the with the guns and how they uh scope and all that it doesn't feel like modern warfare scope if i gotta be honest with you now to be fair i never tried the snipers and all that i've only seen them and my friend only used one with a scope or zoom in scope so i've only seen it i never actually felt it but with the guns that they give you that's the only guns that i tried and honestly it just feels like cold war if i gotta be honest with you it feels like cold war now the the gameplay and all that doesn't it doesn't feel wrong but it, it, it there's some major flaws about it one vaulting in my honest opinion vaulting shouldn't not be in the game i hate vaulting it basically feels like a head glitch if i gotta be honest with you now you can crouch and vault uh, and you can move left and right while vaulting so you can crouch and uncrouch while you're vaulting and move side to side when you're vaulting and that kind of pisses me off a bit because like there was so many times where people vaulted and i didn't see them because the head wasn't even peeking out as much but whenever i do it what, what my head peeked out i don't know dude. people just already found out the head glitch and i heard that some people were hacking the game as again as well so i'm disappointed like it doesn't feel bad it does not feel bad it's just weird now let's talk about the visuals the visuals are so boring it it feels very bland in defense it is in a world war ii setting but the thing is it just feels very very bland and not fun to play at all it looks very boring it, especially when you see clips you're like what the heck is this this feels boring i'm guessing we're we've been used to colorful things over the years especially in these past couple of years whenever fortnite and apex and all them came out it was so bright and colorful and when world war ii came out world war ii was a little bit of a, a natural kind of looking tone but also a little bit of a grayish tone I, I guess we're so used to colorful things now it just looks boring to watch it looks extremely boring to watch and it feels boring to play it looks boring to play too in my opinion as for as soon as i tried that first match i just wanted to get off because it was it was that boring the visuals as well make it hard to see people as well it's so dark and greeny to the point where people just blend in and you can't see where they're at it's bad it's very bad they need to color up their game a bit which i know they I, they might will because it's sledgehammer they they listen to the community they're the only ones that listen to the community so hopefully they change that audio audio is so shit in this alpha it's so bad you can't even hear the footsteps at all like there was hardly any footsteps the only footsteps you can hear is yours that's all you can hear the gunfire in the background makes it so loud to the point where you can't even hear the footsteps and footsteps is kind of the main mechanic of the game if i gotta be honest with you it's just completely gone from this alpha you can hear it sometimes but mo the majority of the time you can't even hear it at all and, it and it's a bit disappointing along with the blending of the background of the characters it makes it so difficult to see people the only time you can see people is when they're open but most of the time if they're like in the background or it's like green and all that or brownish kind of you can't see them at all so whenever you get shot you're just questioning where the fuck they're at because you don't know where they're at 
even towards the end of the stream, I'll put the, I'll put the stream in the description. I had to turn my brightness all the way up. It made it better. But at the same time, it still isn't playable because the audio and the overall color and blendiness of the character makes it so difficult to actually play the game. The game mode itself is not bad at all. I feel like I, I, I honestly think this is way better than Gunfight in my personal opinion. This mode is kind of better than Gunfight, but I, was, I still would prefer Gunfight over this mode. It's pretty fun, but at the same time with all these drawbacks that it's happening right now it is not fun it is, it is generally not fun and it pisses me off i didn't even last an hour of this game i thought i was gonna play for around like two to three hours probably even more but all these flaws in this alpha just makes it unplayable now if they do get the activision treatment this is it this is the gameplay this is legit the gameplay but if they do have some creative freedom in it just because of the lawsuit they might have more creative freedom than they had when they made world war ii but if they do have creative freedom and they can fix all these bugs and all that type of stuff, then it'll be a pretty decent game. Uh, I would say it'll be way better than Cold War. But as of right now, this alpha is way worse than the alpha that we had in Cold War, especially in Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare is top tier when it comes to the alpha. Uh, and then there was Cold War and now here's Call of Duty Vanguard. Call of Duty Vanguard is unplayable because of how it looks, how it sounds, and how it feels mostly because of the sound and visuals that's how i think of it i'm not going to pre-order this game nor am i gonna buy this game at all because i am still protesting about the activision thing even though it's mainly blizzard's fault uh, blizzard's side i still feel like there's some stuff that's in activision in my opinion because you can't just say oh it's mainly blizzard it, activision has no no intention to this. Go look at Bobby Kodak's response and then you can probably understand why I'm doing this. But overall, the gameplay and all that type of stuff is fine. I don't know how it feels on PC. I'm not going to download Battle.net just because of the beta. I'm not going to do that. But overall, first impressions, I fucking hate it. And I'm so glad I didn't pre-order it. I'm so glad I didn't make that mistake of pre-ordering the game like I did in Cold War, if I got to be honest with you. I'm so glad I didn't do that. So yeah, that's my opinion about this game. And I want to hear your guys' opinion. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Tell me why in the comments. Make sure to leave a like. If you like this video, leave a dislike if you dislike this video. I honestly don't care, but you do algorithm might care. But um, if you enjoy more of this content, make sure to subscribe and turn on that bell uh, to let you guys know when I upload. I do stream on my YouTube, but I mostly stream on, on Twitch now. So you can go out in the description. There's there's my main channel and my Twitch channel. Uh, main channel is when I go, when, where I stream and make variety videos and then twitch is just twitch so uh it'll be in the description uh, if you want to go follow those um anyways sorry if you hear the dog in the background he barks a lot I hope you guys have a good morning even or night and i'll see you guys later peace